मित्रांनो नमस्कार या व्हिडिओमध्ये आम्ही इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजिनिअरिंगच्या काही एम एस सीबीच्या जागा निघतात आणि त्यासाठी असलेल्या काही संभावित प्रश्नांची प्रश्नांची यादी आहे मी तुमच्यासमोर मांडलेली आहे अनेक वेळा अशा टेस्ट सिरीज कुठल्याही स्पर्धा परीक्षेच्या केंद्रात किंवा कुठल्या खाजगी कोचिंग क्लासेसमध्ये आढळून येत नाही हे आम्ही तुम्हाला देतोय याचं एकमेव कारण की तुमचा टेस्ट सिरीजचा अभ्यास यातनं व्हावा काही साठ प्रश्नांची यादी हे बेसिक प्रश्न आहेत यानंतरच्या पुढच्या टेस्ट सिरीजच्या व्हिडिओजमध्ये काठिण्य पातळी वाढत राहील मित्रांनो अशा व्हिडिओजला तुम्ही फक्त लाईक करू नका तुम्ही हे चॅनल सबस्क्राईब करा आणि अनेक तुमच्या इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजिनिअरिंगच्या विद्यार्थ्यांना मित्रांना मैत्रिणींना सर्वांना हे व्हिडिओ शेअर करा त्यातनं होऊ शकतं की काही प्रश्न उद्या त्यांना परीक्षेतनं या व्हिडिओ ऐकण्यातनं सापडू शकतील त्याचं कारण आम्ही यात उत्तरसुद्धा दिलेली आहेत आणि ह्या प्रश्न प्रत्येक प्रश्नाचं आम्ही तुम्हाला इथे पर्याय आणि त्याचं अचूक पर्याय हेही सांगणार आहोत मित्रांनो पहिला प्रश्न सुरू करूयात रेजिस्टन्स इज मेझर्ड इन ऑप्शन ए हेनरीज ऑप्शन बी ओहोम ऑप्शन सी हर्ट्स एंड ऑप्शन डी वॉल्ट द क्वेश्चन वन रेजिस्टन्स इज मेझर्ड इन आणि उत्तर आहे ऑप्शन बी दॅट इज ओहम सो रेजिस्टन्स इज मेझर्ड इन ओहम क्वेश्चन नंबर टू जो महत्वाचा यासाठी आहे की या सारखे प्रश्न फार कमी विचारले जातात पण कदाचित या टॉपिकवर विचारले जाऊ शकतील वेन अ फोर्थ रेजिस्टर इज कनेक्टेड इन सिरीज विथ थ्री रेजिस्टर्स द टोटल रेजिस्टन्स ए इन्क्रीज बाय वन फोर्थ B increases, C decreases, and D remains the same. Uttar is the total resistance increases. Mitrano, question three. Mahatvasa. All the voltage drops and the source voltage added together in a series circuit is equal to. Mitrano, first question with Vastoy. First, Lakshad Gya. All the voltage drops and the source voltage added together in a series circuit. Zarte series circuit madhe se. So is equal to. the total of the voltage drop b the source voltage c0 and d the total of the source voltage and the voltage drop c0 because the voltage drop and the source voltage is an ekatra kele that's the uttar answer is the zero question number 4 to measure the current out of the second resistor in a circuit consisting of a four resistor an ammeter can be placed ammeter kuthe basavta yel asa ha prashna साधारण बिटवीन दी सेकंड एंड दी थर्ड रेजिस्टर बी एट द निगेटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द सोर्स सी बिटवीन दी थर्ड एंड दी फोर्थ रेजिस्टर एंड एट द पॉइंट इन दी सर्किट एट द पॉइंट इन दी सर्किट अगली सर्किट या सुरुआती एमिटर बसवता उत्तर टू मेजर दी टू मेजर दी करंट असा तो प्रश्न होता प्रश्न क्रमांक पांच इन अ लिटिल फेस सिस्टीम वेन द लोड्स आर परफेक्टली बैलेंस द नैच न्यूट्रल करंट इज क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन इज जीरो बी वन थर्ड ऑफ अ मैक्सिम सी टू थर्ड ऑफ अ मैक्सिम एंड डी एट अ मैक्सिम आंसर इज द ऑप्शन ए जीरो इन द थ्री फेस सिस्टीम वेन द लोड आर परफेक्टली बैलेंस द न्यूट्रल करंट इज जीरो ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स In a minus connected source driving a delta minus connected load, the load voltage and a line voltage are one third and a source voltage for a given phase. Again, Mitrano B load voltage and line voltage are two thirds the source voltage for a given phase. C load voltage and a line voltage cancel for a given phase. And D load voltage, line voltage and a source phase voltage are all equal for a given phase. Question number six. Parat baga. इन अ डेल्टा कनेक्टेड सोर्स ड्राइविंग अ डेल्टा कनेक्टेड लोड द लोड विल बी लोड वोल्टेज लाइन वोल्टेज एंड सोर्स फेज वोल्टेज ऑल आर इक्वल फॉर अ गिवन फेज ओके अगेन इन अ डेल्टा कनेक्टेड सोर्स फीडिंग मत मित्र सातवा जो प्रश्न है लक्षा गया कि आम्मी य पद्धति के प्रश्न ये देते कि अनेक वेला डेल्टा कनेक्टेड आ स्टार कनेक्टेड लोड पर प्रश्न विचार इन अ डेल्टा कनेक्टेड सोर्स फीडिंग अ स्टार कनेक्टेड लोड व्हाट विल हैपन ए इज ईच फेज वोल्टेज इक्वल्स टू अ डिफरेंस ऑफ द करस्पॉन्डिंग लोड वोल्टेज बी इज द ईच फेज वोल्टेज इक्वल टू द करस्पॉन्डिंग लोड वोल्टेज सी इज द ईच फेज वोल्टेज इज वन थर्ड द करस्पॉन्डिंग लोड वोल्टेज एंड डी द ईच फेज वोल्टेज इज सिक्सटी पर्सेंट आउट ऑफ द फेज विथ द करस्पॉन्डिंग लोड वोल्टेज 
what will be the option is in between the indifference or is equal or is one third or this 60 uh, percent out of the phase what is the answer in a delta connected source feeding of a star connected load is each phase voltage equal the difference of the corresponding load voltage the answer a is the correct answer in a question number eight in a star uh, one of the one star source load configuration <coughs> option a phase current the line current and the load current are equal in each phase so in a star star source what will be the load configuration again the option b is phase current the line current and the load current are 120 degree out of the phase uh, c is phase current and the line current are in phase and both are 120 degree out of phase with the load current and the line current and the load current are in phase and the both are out of phase with the phase current mitrano star star source madhe load configuration kay asayla pahije star star source in load configuration the phase current line current and the load current are all are the equal in this each phase is the correct answer in a star connected circuit the magnitude of each line current is one third the phase current b three times the corresponding phase current or the C equal to the corresponding phase current or the D is zero. The option is the equal to the corresponding phase current is the correct answer for the star connected circuit. The magnitude of the each line current is the <coughs> equal to the corresponding phase current. Question number 10. Again, a constant load power means a uniform con uh, conversion of option a mechanical to electrical energy b electrical to mechanical energy c is the current to voltage and d is the voltage to current a constant load power means a uniform conversion of option b electrical to mechanical energy is the constant load power uh, called electrical to mechanical energy question number 11 polyphase generators produce simultaneous multiple sinusoidal voltages that are separated by question a certain constant phase angle uh, option b certain constant frequencies option c certain constant voltages and option d the certain constant currents the answer a is the certain constant phase angle are the polyphase generator produce simultaneous multiple sinusoidal voltages that are separated certain constant phase angle these are the correct answer for the equation number 11 Question number 12, in a balanced three phase load, each phase has option number A, an equal amount of a power, option B, one third of a total power, option C, the two third of a total power, and the option D, a power consumption equal to the, actually, uh, uh, 3VL uh, divided by L, that is again the option A is the uh, correct answer, an equal amount of a power in a balanced three phase load option a uh, equal amount of power is the correct answer uh, question number 13 in a star connected cir circuit between each line voltage and the nearest phase voltage there is a phase angle of a 0 degree 30 degree 60 degree and 120 degree option number p is the 30 degree is the correct answer for the star connected circuit between the each line voltage and the nearest phase voltage there is a phase angle of a 30 degree okay question number 14 the most common type of a ac motor is the option a single phase induction motor option b two phase induction motor option c three phase induction motor and d option d uh, two phase squirrel case motor okay option c is the correct answer for the three phase induction motor for the most common type of ac motor is three phase induction motor so option c is the correct answer question number uh, this uh, this kind of a question will be very important and a very uh, in a primitive stage, uh, uh, the priority will be given uh, for a such type of a question. Question number 15, in a star connected source feeding as a delta connected load, option number A, each phase of a load has one third of the full line voltage across it. Option number B is each phase of the load has two thirds of this full line voltage uh, across it. And the uh, each phase of the load has the full line uh, voltage across it and again the option number d is the each uh, phase of the load has a uh, voltage across it equal uh, to the root 3 so what will be the correct answer the c is the correct answer each phase of the load has a full time uh, voltage across it in a star connected source feeding the delta connected load will be the each phase of the load has the full 
लाइन वोल्टेज अक्रॉस इट डियर फ्रेंड्स देर आर सम इक्वालिटीज इन द क्वेश्चन a very minor change we can got it and uh, the, this kind of questions are very very important uh, in terms of the msb examination or these refer to the msb examination pattern question number 16 in a delta connectant generator all the phase voltage are option a 0 option b equal in magnitude option c 1/3 of a total and option d the 1/6 of a total option b is the correct answer equal to the magnitude in a delta connected generator all the phases voltage are again equal in magnitude uh, question number 17 in in assigning the direction of branch currents option a the directions are critical option b the directions are not critical option c they must point into the node and option d they must point out of the node again you can understand what will be the, in the must point into the node and uh, out of the node it has a, a different meaning for this each option so in assigning the direction of a br uh, uh, branch currents the direction are not critical that is the correct answer the question number 18 the expansion method for evaluating determinants is option a better than any other method option b good for only a, one determinant and uh, option c more flexible than the uh, Uh, co-factor method and option d is the good for second and third order determinants so option d is the good for a second and a third order determinant is the uh, correct answer for the expansion method for the evaluating determinants okay so understand this kind of question and what is the basic answer what will be the our humor says to us what will be the logical uh, connectivity for the question and the answer you have to check you have to cross check and then uh, decide what will be the correct answer or what should be the correct answer we are going for the uh, 19th question okay the, the question number 19th the branch current method uses option a option b option c and option d are the four option for this and the question is the branch current method uses kirchhoff's voltage and current law again thevenin's theorem and ohm's law option c kirchhoff's current law and ohm's law and option d the superposition theorem and the thevenin's theorem these are the combinations of theorem and law the branch current method are uses in the kirchhoff's voltage and current law is the correct answer for the 19th question we are going for the 20 question 20th question how many degree are there in pi by 3 rad okay so 6 degree uh, 60 degree 180 degree and the 70 degree are these four option so in this actually the option b is the 60 degree is the correct answer how many degrees are in the pi by third rad okay so question number 21 the two basic component of an thevenin equivalent uh, ac uh, circuit are what will be the actual basic component for the thevenin equivalent ac current uh, circuit sorry uh, option a the equivalent voltage source and the equivalent series uh, impedance uh, again the equivalent voltage source and the equivalent uh, series resistance option c the equivalent voltage source and the equivalent parallel impedance and d the equivalent voltage source and the equivalent parallel resistance what are the options we have these are the four options and for the question number 21 the answer is option a that is equivalent voltage source and the equivalent series impedance dear friends these kind of questions are really very crucial questions and for the two basic components of the thevenin equivalent ac circuit this is a very basic and a fundamental ac circuit thevenin equivalent ac circuit and what will be the component so what the component will be equivalent voltage source and equivalent series impedance okay so understand this is kind of a um, uh, different uh, question and in applying the superposition theorem in equi in equi in applying this superposition theorem what will happen uh, in option a the sources are considered one at a time with all others replaced by their internal impedance b the all sources are considered impedant uh, independently c the all sources are considered simultaneously and d the sources are considered one at a time with all others replaced by their internal resistance dear friends understand option a again first and just uh, check it with the analytical thinkings and the applying in the superposition theorem what will be happen in superposition theorem this is this kind of a questions are very genuine so in the superposition theorem the sources are considered one at a time with all others replaced by their internal impedance so this is the correct answer for these 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एंड वी आर नाउ मूविंग फॉर दी क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी इन टू करंट आर इन सेम डायरेक्शन एट एनी इंस्टेंट ऑफ अ टाइम इन गिवन ब्रांच इन सर्किट एट नेट करंट एट दैट इंस्टेंट ऑप्शन ए इज जीरो ऑप्शन बी इन दम ऑफ द टू करंट ऑप्शन सी इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू करंट एंड ऑप्शन डी इज दट कैन नॉट बी डिटरमाइंड सो इन क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी थ्री वी कैन रीड अगेन इन अ टू करंट आर इन द सेम डायरेक्शन एट एनी इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम इन गिवन ब्रांच ऑफ सर्किट द नेट करंट ऑफ द इंस्टेंट इज द सम ऑफ द टू करंट एक्सैक्टली क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन दिन इक्वीवेंट वोल्टेज इज दिस इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन and uh, understand dear friends so, uh, the previous question was again for the uh, thevenin equivalent voltage and again we are moving for the thevenin equivalent voltage is again proving that the thevenin equivalent voltage and the thevenin theorem has the different kind of uh, weightage for these questions in the mscb examination so now understand frequently asked questions are from thevenin equivalent voltage so we are now Uh, uh, concentration uh, concentrating on this question the thevenin equivalent voltage is option a equal to the source voltage b is the same as the load voltage and the c the open circuit voltage and d is the none of the above what will be the correct answer the option c is the open circuit voltage is the correct answer for the thevenin equivalent voltage is the 24th question so now we are moving for the 25th question in order to get a maximum power transfer from a capacitive source the load must what will be the load uh, so uh, a load must be have a capacitive resistance equal to the circuit resistance and option b have an impedance that uh, is the complex uh, conjugate of the source impedance uh, c b as a capacitive as it is inductive and option d is none of the above what will be the option uh, which will be the correct answer the option b is the correct answer and dear friends again we are saying that these all are uh, a basic question but some questions are very genuine some questions have a uh, different importance regarding the <coughs> regarding to the basic uh, msb examinations and the uh, other government examination so option b is the uh, uh, correct answer in order to get a maximum power transfer from the capacity sources the load must has the an impedance that is the complex conjugate of the source impedance so this is a very important question understand and these kind of questions are frequently asked in the government examination the question number 13 again uh, the norton equivalent current is the current through the load option a option b is the open current from the source option c the short circuit current and option d is the none of the above the option c the short circuit current is the norton equivalent current is equivalent to the short circuit current okay so this is the question third 30 uh, we are moving for the 31 as we said that these are the 60 questions and these are the very basic questions for the electrical engineering and you can get it more and more information from this video for the basic electrical engineering understand the questions understand is uh, kind of a uh, wavelength and uh, again the weightage of this kind of questions for uh, regarding to the uh, examination so now we are moving for the 31 question norton's theorem gives option a an equivalent current source in parallel with an equivalent impedance option b an equivalent current source in series with an equivalent impedance option c an equivalent voltage source in a parallel with equivalent impedance and the option t is an equivalent voltage source in a series with an equivalent impedance what is the equivalent current source in series in parallel in series with equivalent impedance and in parallel with the equivalent impedance these are the kind of a, some gimmick this kind of a, some confusions are created Uh, due to the some similar options here but understand the option a is the correct answer for the norton's theorem norton norton's theorem says that an equivalent current source is parallel with an equivalent impedance that is very basic so parallel is a very important word for this norton theorem so when the norton theorem current equivalent current is parallel to the equivalent impedance so the current is parallel to the impedance so that is the basic funda for this kind of questions if frequently asked in this government examination question number 32 metals with lots of free electrons are called option a conductors b insulators c semiconductor and d is the filter option a conductor so material with lot of free electrons are called as conductor is the correct answer we are moving for the 33 question question number 33 the unit of electrical charge is the coulomb joule volt or watt this is a very basic question 
this kind of question cannot be asked but we are just making you the uh, relaxation by this kind of a question so the unit of electrical charge is coulomb okay we are now moving for the 34th question that is a current flow in a circuit fan question option a a switch is open option b is a, a switch is closed option c is the switch is either open or closed or option d there is no voltage now the answer is option b a switch is closed when the current flows in circuit when the switch is off uh, closed uh, this is again a very basic question cannot be asked in this uh, examination but we are giving for uh, your uh, ideas will be clear question number 35 which will be the following is the not type of energy source okay option a is a generator b is a rheostat c is the solar cell and d is the battery so b is the rheostat is not the type of energy source is the very correct answer we are now moving for the 36 question when a placed close together two positively charged materials will be attract become a neutral become a negative and become a repel so the repel will be there because these two uh, both are the positive both if the negative are there the option will be different if the positive and negative there will be attract and the positive positive they will be repel that is the uh, answer so option d is the answer question number 37 electrons in the outer orbit are called as what valencies okay so this is the valency the actually correct answer we are giving option to you electrons in the outer orbit are called as a, a is a nuclei b is a valencies c is a waves and t is a shells okay so option b valencies are the <coughs> valencies are the uh, correct answer for these electrons uh, in the outer orbit are called as the valencies a thir uh, uh, listen a, th a thermistor is in a type of uh, option A switch, option B register, option C battery and the power supply. So a thermometer is a type of again a resistor. Okay, uh, this is a, a, a little <coughs> typing typing mistake or there. Okay, uh, question number thirty nine. We are moving for the question number thirty nine. That is a two terminal variable resistor is known as a potentiometer, thermos uh, thermometer, rheostat and the wiper. These are the DA. So these are the option uh, four options there for the question number 39. A two terminal variable register is again known as a thermistor uh, is not an option, uh, not an answer. Actually, rheostat is the correct answer because the potentiometer thermo, uh, thermistor and the wiper are not actually the correct answer. Question number 14. In a certain loaded transformer, the secondary voltage is one fourth in the primary voltage. The secondary current is again understand this these are the very crucial question because uh, they are giving one a kind of a situation over there and they are understanding what will be the second current and the second current is the one fourth of the primary current is the option a option b is the four time of the primary current option c is the equal to the primary current and option d is the one fourth of the primary current and the equal to the primary current what i am reading a question again for your understanding question number 14 in a certain loaded transformer the secondary voltage is one fourth the primary voltage this is the kind of a basic situation and in this kind of a situation the secondary current is four times the primary current this has the kind of hypothetical situations over there uh, you can logically solve this kind of a question and we are now moving for the question number 41 for this question number 41 the primary winding of a power transformer should always be option a open option b shorter shorted option c is switched and option d is the fused so the fused is the correct answer the primary winding of a power transformer should be always fused this is a very very basic but very important question because the, uh, sometimes we are so confused by this kind of a, what kind of a primary winding for the power transformer because the transformer we are sitting a very lot but winding will be fused okay so in question number 42 a transformer option a changes uh, alternate current to direct current and option b changes dc to ac c is the step up or down dc voltage and uh, option d is step up to the down ac voltage option d is the uh, actually correct answer for the uh, transformer step up or down ac or a down ac voltage this is again a very very basic question cannot be asked uh, uh, kind of uh, examination but listen we are for making your understanding and for making for your uh, clarity and the understanding and the orientation of the examination pattern so we are giving such kind of a basic question also for your understanding now we are moving for the 43 question 
फार काय कठीण नाहीये लक्षात घ्या फार सोपं आहे आणि तुम्ही जोपर्यंत अभ्यास करताना या प्रश्नांची उजळणी होऊ शकत नाही तोपर्यंत तुम्ही लक्षात नाही घेऊ शकणार म्हणून काही साधे प्रश्न पण तुम्हाला विचारलेले साधे प्रश्न सुद्धा यात दिलेले आहेत एक अजून सांगतो हे सगळं आणि आमचा अभ्यास सगळं सगळं सांभाळून तुमच्यासाठी करतो यामागे आमचा कुठलाही दुसरा उद्देश नाहीये त्यामुळे थोडं एखाद्या वेळेस इकडे तिकडे काही होऊ शकतं आम्हाला समजून घ्या आम्ही तुमच्यासाठी हे करत असताना आमच्या चुका काढण्यापेक्षा आम्हाला सूचना करा की तुम्ही हे बदला आम्ही ते बदलू आम्ही त्यात नक्की काही अजून गोष्टी करायच्या असतील तर नक्की करू पण आमचा मनोदय हा आहे की या माध्यमातनं तुम्ही अभ्यासाला लागाल या माध्यमातनं तुम्हाला अजून विविध प्रश्नांचे उपाय सापडतील अजून काही विविध पर्याय सापडतील आम्ही प्रत्येक व्हिडिओसाठी प्रचंड मेहनत घेतोय म्हणून तुमच्या काही सूचना असतील तर नक्की आम्हाला सांगा मी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी थ्री कडे जातोय वेन द When the pointer is an analog ohmmeter reads close to zero the resistor being measured is uh, option a overheated option b shorted option c open and option d is reversed so the answer is option b shorted when a pointer of an analog ohmmeter reads close to zero the resistor being measured is shorted okay so this is question number 43 we are now moving for the question number 44 when a additional resistor is connected across the existing parallel circuit the total resistance is option a remains the same option b decreases by the value of the added resistor option c increases by the value of the added resistor and the option d is the decreases these are the four option for the question number 44 i'm reading this question again for your understanding when a, an additional resistor is connected across an existing parallel circuit now the question is the total resistance will be decreases so the decreases is the answer option d is the correct answer for this question number 44 now i am moving for the question number 45 three lights are connected in the parallel across a uh, one uh, 120 volt source if one light burns out what will be the, this is the situation understand now uh, they are moving from the basic uh, fundamental uh, ideologies and fundamental some basic uh, rules they are now giving you the situation and what will be the condition so now very very important question uh, question number 45 for these examination point of view three lights are connected in a parallel across in a 120 volt so this is the condition dear friends you are engineer and understand you can make a change in terms of a, a pattern of examination pattern of study everything so a smart work can be held for your examination again we are telling you this kind of a questions are very important because here is a giving a one condition uh, hope so this same question will be appear in your examination uh, might be the thing is done another condition will be happen but the same uh, theorem will be happen in a, or the same kind of situation you can tackle uh, in the question paper so we are now not bothering you to study all these patterns of examination we are just saying that whatever your basics what your your applications in the examination you just study it and make it some kind of questions for your uh, for making a test and now we are uh, understanding what will be the answer so question number 45 the three lights are connected in a parallel across a 120 volt source if one light burns out the remaining two will be glow dimmer uh, it's a dimmer actually and the remaining two will be glow brighter uh, option b is the remaining two will be not lighter and option d is the remaining two will glow with the same brightness as before this is a very very uh, very a fantastic question for a engineer has to be asked okay an electrical engineer and the option d is the correct answer the remaining two glow with the same brightness as before so question uh, number 45 has already done so we are now going for the question number 46 a sudden increase in the total current into a parallel circuit may indicate what will indicate option a a drop in source voltage option b option b and a uh, open resistor uh, and again Uh, option C and an increase in the source voltage option D either a drop in source voltage or an open resistor uh, option C that an increase in source voltage is the correct answer i'm reading your question again a sudden increase in the total current into a parallel circuit may indicate an increase in the source voltage this is the very correct answer so i'm moving for the 46 uh, question number 46 if one of the resistor in a parallel circuit is removed the what will be the total resistance option A decreases 
option b increases option c is the remains the same and the option d is the double what will be the answer the answer is increases if the one of the resistor is a parallel circuit is removed the total resistance is increases so to the total resistance is increases this is the uh, very important thing 48 question number 48 a sine wave voltage in applied across a capacitor when a frequency of voltage is decreased what will be the current so current is increased current is remains constant current is decreased or current is ceased so the option c is decreased is the correct answer for the current for a question number 48 question number 49 we are moving for the question number 49 of the following capacitors which one has the highest dielectric constant okay so this is the question uh, for 49 of the following capacitor which one has the highest dielectric current option a a option b mica option c glass and option d is the paper this is the question uh, might be asked in mpsc exam also because this has a very different kind of a potential for this kind of a uh, question uh, as point of view the general knowledge also of the following capacitor which one has the highest dielectric constant option c is the correct answer glass has the highest dielectric current and option question number 15 when the plate area is the capacitor increases option a is the capacitance increases option b is the capacitance decreases option c is the capacitance is unaffected and the option d is and the, the voltage it can uh, withstand increases so option a the capacitance increases is the correct answer in the plate area of the capacitor increases the capacitance also increases so we are moving for the question number 51 when the voltage across the capacitor is tripled what will be the storage charge option a the storage charge will be triples option b is the uh, the storage charge is cut to one third option c is what will be the storage charge stays the same and option d is the storage charge will be double so option a storage charge is triple in type of a voltage across a capacitor is triple storage charge also a triple so this is a basic question Question number 52, now the to increase the current in a series, understand, uh, uh, to increase the uh, current in a series RL circuit, uh, what will be the frequency? Frequency should be increased, frequency should be decreased, frequency should be constant and option number D, uh, frequency cannot be determined without values, understand, to increase the current in a series RL circuit, the frequency should be decreased okay uh, for one second we thought of a question number 53 when a frequency is decreased the impedance of a parallel rl circuit now understand uh, on impedance of a parallel rl circuit what will be happen if the frequency is decreased option a the frequency is increased the uh, option b is the decrease uh, again option c is a uh, remains constant what will be happen with the parallel rl circuit is not a factor so uh, when the frequency is decreased a uh, parallel rl circuit will be decreased this is the uh, again a very basic question now question number 54 when a frequency of the voltage applied to a series rl circuit is decreased the impedance what will be happen with the impedance option a decreased option b increased uh, option D, option C is uh, impedance does not ch change and option D is cannot be determined without the values but understand the frequency of the voltage applied to the series RL circuit if serial, uh, series RL circuit is decreased the impedance is again uh, decreases so now the question uh, 54 is again a very important question as point of view your examination pattern now question number 55 when the resistor voltage in a series RL circuit becomes less than uh, inductor voltage the phase angle what will be the phase what will happen with the phase angle is it, is it increases or decreases or not affected or cannot be determined so now understand resistor voltage in a series RL circuit becomes less than inductor voltage the phase angle should be increases this is the correct answer so option a is the correct answer for question number 55 now we are moving for a question number 56 which of the following power factors result in a less energy loss in an rl circuit understand so option a 1 option b 0 0.8 option c 0 0.4 and option d is the 0 0.2 option d 0 0.2 is the correct answer for the which of the following power factor results in less energy 
loss in the in an uh, RL circuit. So now I'm moving for a, a question number 57. When the frequency of a voltage applied to a series RL circuit is increased, the phase angle option A decreases, option B increases, does not change option C and option D is the cannot be determined without the values. You can understand uh, there are same options decreases, increases, does not change or cannot be determined without the values are the same option. Uh, these are kind of options uh, has to be changed but these are uh, some kind of conditions. These are for some kind of questions has what, what about impedance, what about impedance, what about current, what about RL circuit. So understand the situation and make it the NLDC. So again these are RC, R, RL and RLC are the these are kind of circuits and these three circuits are very important. So uh, it, it may be connectivity is that uh, <coughs> Uh, for the circuit means RC, RL and RLC there must be a one question in examination so understand uh, uh, interlink with the RC and R, RL, RL and RLC and RC and RLC so this is the linkages you can understand the situations and make a, make your own question make your own answers and then uh, you can prepare for examination you are already prepared, prepared if you link uh, these uh, three circuits uh, in, 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 in this kind of waves uh, sorry in, in this kind of situations okay so now question number 58 if the frequency is held and the resistance is double the uh, impedance of a series RL circuit uh, option A double or a halves option B uh, option C is remains constant and option D cannot be determined without value uh, in a frequency is halt and a resistance is double so now the situation is different if the frequency is halt and the resistance is double the impedance of a series RL circuit should be not uh, should cannot be uh, it cannot be determined without the values is the cannot, uh, correct answer uh, again I am going for going for the 59 question question number 59 now uh, this is the question number 59 in a series resonant band pass filter a lower value of a Q results is option A a higher resonant frequency option B a smaller band width option C a higher impedance and a, option D a large band width these are the four options I am reading a question for you for your understanding again in a series re resonant band pass filter a lower value of a Q result is option D is the correct answer a larger band width is the correct answer so this is the uh, again uh, very important question for you dear friends uh, I am saying that these are basic question we are now making a very crucial question for you in the, the next videos be connected with these uh, videos and all uh, by liking our videos by understanding and making a comment on our video and subscribing our channel competitive examination hub dear friends this is a very uh, very very important thing for you to understand these questions and making a studious, studious uh, uh, understanding for your examination best of luck and all the best for your examination jai hind jai maharashtra